Hey everyone, this is Digital Charcuterie. Thanks for stopping by. If you're looking forward to Superman, the DCU, and why not other films that are coming out in 2025, hit that subscribe button. I'm gonna be talking about it, covering it all the time on this channel. Today, I wanna to talk about Superman Don't Say Legacy coming out in July. I'm really excited for it. We got the beginnings of the DCU with Creature Commandos kicking us off last week and now you know that series is going to go on for a few more weeks but then we've got the lol that's going to take us into july and what is to come and what are we going to get and a lot more information is going to leak obviously going into that movie and we're gonna have a lot of speculation a lot of fun talking about it and i can't wait i'm really excited for superman is it my most anticipated movie of 2025 at this point in time probably i haven't honestly i haven't looked at the list the full list of movies coming out that year uh but fandango has and they've They've actually polled 9,000 people. 9,000 people they polled and asked them what their most anticipated movies of 2025 are. So they have a top 10 list of anticipated movies and other categories as well, which we'll go into. We're going to start, though, with, with the movie list because Superman did make the top 10, but it's not crazy high on the list. It's quite low, actually. In fact, it came in at number 9. So let's quickly look at at the list of the top 10 movies that were made by these people pulled from Fandango. Who were these people? I have no idea. And the order of this list suggests that I will never have any idea because it, it doesn't make much sense to me. <laughs> I mean, it kind of does, but not entirely. Let's take a look at this list right here. Coming in at number one, Captain America Brave New World 2 Mission Apostle Final Reckoning, Jurassic World Rebirth, from the world of John Wick Ballerina, the Fantastic Four First Steps. At 5, 6 is Avatar Fire and Ash. 7, Wicked Part 2. 8, The Accountant 2. 9, Superman. And 10, 28 years later. I, I don't know what to make of it. I feel like, yeah, Captain America people are excited for, but are they more excited for Captain America than they are some of the other movies on this list? I feel like if they pulled 20,000 people or... yeah. 18,000 people have doubled it. I think this list would be drastically different. Jurassic World, I will say, don't count out the Jurassic Park franchise. I'm not a fan of the Jurassic World trilogy movies. I'm like, every one, I'm like, why are you getting worse? At the same time, I own them all because I'm a sucker and I love dinosaurs and I love the movies to death, but I can't stand them, but I love them at the same time. It doesn't make any sense, so I'm excited to see the new one. Absolutely. And it's Gareth Edwards also, who's coming up, obviously, row one, but the the creator, which costs like $80 million or $85 million or whatever to make, and it looks spectacular. I thought it lost its way towards the end a little bit, but it's a fantastic looking movie, and it's a lot of fun. I thought it was kind of a, a brilliant idea, and the fact that he can work with special effects on a cheaper budget, I think that's what Jurassic the Jurassic Park franchise needs right now. So I'm really excited for that. Captain America, you keep hearing horrible things. I think it's going to do well. I think Fantastic Four is good. If the trailer for Fantastic Four is going to do well, I think that's going to crush. But a Wicked 2 being so low on the list blows my mind i haven't seen wicked one as not i'm not the demographic for it i'm going to see it eventually my wife really wants to see it we're probably gonna take it. we're probably gonna see it soon we can get a babysitter for a two-year-old we're gonna take her to see it but but it's so low on this list and from what i can tell based on all of the hundreds of thousands of reels that have stuck in my algorithm fans are loving Wicked, the first one. So I can't see them not being excited for Wicked Part 2. It just doesn't make sense to me that it would be so low on all this. But it is what it is in the John Wick movie Ballerina. People love John Wick. I get, but the question, of course, that we're talking about is Superman being number nine, very low on the list. The only thing lower than it is 28 years later, which, you know, is a, the third movie in a sort of a trilogy that's always taking its time to get there. Obviously, there's been a long a long waiting list to get to him. I think it's one of those movies that will probably garner more attention and attraction as we get closer to the release date. But Superman falling so fall far behind. And Mission Impossible being number two on this list is such a crock to me. Because look, I love Mission Impossible is the franchise that I'm like, why is this getting better? It's the opposite of Jurassic Park. It's like every time I'm like, why is this so good? Why are you getting so good? And I thought the last one was great. It was a little long, but I thought it was great. Looking forward to part two. But people didn't go to see part one. It didn't make a lot of money. It didn't make that much money, part one. Part two might. I don't know, but part one didn't. So again, I don't know who they pulled for this. I'm sure it says in the article. Uh, just generic ticket buyers of Fandango. So I don't know. 
It's just hardcore Marvel fans, I guess. I don't know. First steps. I think Fantastic Four is going to be a fun time. I think it's going to be a good movie. It, I think I don't know if it's going to be a spectacular movie, but I think it's going to be a really solid movie. And I'm really hoping Superman is because I really believe Superman is also going to be a solid movie. And the one-two punch of Superman, Fantastic Four. I think this is going to reinvigorate fans. Excite viewers' excitement for comic book movies once again. I think people are going to split out and be like, okay, maybe comic book movies are going to be good, especially after the 2024 year, which had Madam Web and Craven uh, bookend comic book movies of this year. But again, Captain America uh, 4 being number one is strange to me. Like, I understand the anticipation and excitement for that. But I don't know about about that. So I'm not sure who the people that actually answered this poll were. It sounds like they're people who like specific movies. But again, this raises the question with Superman. Is Superman going to be a box office success? I think it will be a box office success. I don't think it's going to dominate the box office at all. I've said this in, in other videos. I don't feel like it's going to do that. But I think it's going to be a good movie. And it's going to assure fans and viewers that the DCU is in good hands. That you're going to want to stick around for the ride that is to come. That is to follow. If you didn't like the Snyder stuff, this is what you're going to like. And hopefully we also get fans of the Snyderverse to tag along. And I know a lot of people hate James Gunn. I've read the comments uh, just based on the fact that he, I guess, is doing this stuff. I don't know. I think he's a very talented filmmaker. I think he has a specific style. style. Again, though, I've said this to death. I don't think he's going to bring that specific style entirely to Superman. You're going to see some of it in Superman, of course. It being number nine speaks to the fact that the DCU, that DC films as a whole, is in a tight spot, right? They haven't really had many hits. I think Aquaman 2 was pretty decent for them. Aquaman 1, obviously. Wonder Woman 1. But other than that, like Shazam 1 was an okay hit, but it didn't break the box office i mean just based on the budget and whatnot it was a success but everything else has kind of been abysmal right like bat like man of steel was great uh financial i'm talking financially i love the movie though financially but maybe superman did not do what they wanted to do and then that caused super, uh, suicide squad to not be the movie it should have been and then but that movie did pretty well and then wonder woman did pretty well but they all started to like decline justice league obviously was a total failure on every level and people start to lose faith in dc and this new dc even though it's going to be completely different a lot of you know the non-diehard fans the people who are just going to go see the movie aren't going to understand this so they're going to have to baby step their way into it so i understand it being low it did crack the top 10 though which is pretty awesome you know it's just going to take a little bit of time to get people on board with the new dc but one thing in this poll that i thought was very very telling and very exciting for me was this category right here most anticipated performances of for 2025 Number one, Scarlett Johansson in Jurassic World Rebirth, Pedro Pascal in Fantastic Four for Steps, Anna de Armas in For the World John Wick Ballerina, Brad Pitt in F1. But number five, coming in hot, Nicholas Holt in Superman as Lex Luthor. And I thought that was kind of cool to see Nicholas Holt get into love in that category. People say, oh man, I'm really excited to see what Nicholas Holt is going to bring in this character. And I think this speaks a lot to Jesse Eisenberg. I know Jesse Eisenberg, for the Lex Luthor they were doing, I thought he was fine. Now, the Lex Luthor we could talk about, but I thought, you know, he did what I think that role needed from him. But I think people are excited to see a new uh, Lex Luthor, a more traditional Lex Luthor hit the screen. And I think Nicholas Holt is an intriguing choice. He's not a child anymore. He's not the kid from About a Boy anymore. He's all grown up. But I, he, you know, he's become a fantastic actor. And I just think seeing this new kind of threatening Lex Luthor on screen has a lot of people very excited. Now, the fact is, there's no trailer for this, obviously. Most of these movies are our trailers. Jurassic Park, I don't think, needs a trailer, obviously. Fantastic Four, not so much. But Captain America has had a trailer. So, if Superman had a trailer, would it be higher on the list? I, I wouldn't argue one way or another. Who, who knows? Who cares? It's number nine. It's in the top ten. That's very good. I think it's going to be a good movie. It's going to be a financially okay movie. I don't think it's going to break the box office, like I said. But is it in trouble? No. I think I think they know exactly the ballpark that this movie is going to make, and I think they know that there's a lot of fans that aren't going to come on board because of the past regime, because they're not, they'll have faith in DC Studios. They'll have faith in DC Films, and this movie needs to get that faith to 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 mend the wound, if you will. 
And that's what they're going to do, and that's what they're looking to do. And I think the fact that they crack the top 10, I would bet you that James Gunn and Peter Safran are ecstatic about that, that people do want to see this movie. And the fact that Nicholas Holt cracked that list, I think, is excites them even more. I think they're very exciting for it. And I think James Gunn's enthusiasm for this film is going to really, really bleed through, and we're all going to feel it as it gets closer to release day. We've still got half a year to get there. We're still seven months away from Superman Don't Say Legacy. So a lot can happen. Uh, they're not going to do full reshoots, just little pickup shots here and there. It's not like they really got their uh, shit together. I'm excited to see it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Does it ranking nine on Fandango concern you at all? Or are you all in on Superman by James Gunn coming this July? Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Give us a like and subscribe. Until next time, maybe the master of your own universe.